One Man Mutiny is the title of Tommy Stinson's new solo CD. The Guns N' Roses and former Replacements bassist is releasing it on his own label due to a real uprising now rocking the music industry. Part of the reason why the industry is kind of falling apart is that they haven't figured out how to, to, to make the, the, the jump to the new, uh, new way of doing things. I mean, there's been this sort of thing happening throughout musical history. I mean, they went from 78s to you know, LPs to, you know, CDs and then, you know, MP3s. There's a transition that has to happen. If you're on the front of that curve, you're probably going to, you're going to be all right. If you're waiting in the, in the wings back there for someone to tell you how to do it and figure it out, you're going to just lose it. You're going to be gone. In order to stick around, Stinson, who started in the music business at age 12, is releasing his latest effort on his own label, Done to Death Music. Now, you've been on small labels and big labels. Tell me what's it like to have your own label? Well, it's a lot of trial and error. I mean, we're trying to figure out what, you know, what makes sense. Where should I, because I got to put my own money into it. And, and I knew that going in. I knew what I was going to have to figure out, like, what makes sense? Should I get a publicist? Should I get someone to help with a marketing idea? Maybe I can get both. And, you know, we're trying to figure out where's a good place for me to invest in my own music to where it's going to mean something and be meaningful. A lot of times with record labels, big or small, they'll just, they'll just they'll have a cross the board way of doing things and they'll give you a publicist that's not very good and you'll do this and then they'll give you a marketing team that'll try and do this and none of it really has anything to do with you or your music necessarily, it's just that's what we do. Well, what do you think about other revenue streams like video games or movie soundtracks? You've done a soundtrack. I scored a movie for Sony called Catch and Release, which was a huge, huge boost for me. One, it was a, it was a blast to do. It was one, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I did it with BT, and we just had a really good time doing it. And I did, I did very well on that. And you know, for me, um, and and as you go along now, it's like a lot of bands are doing that now, and they're doing them for free because they want to just be in the movie and their music. It's just another tool in a way. Well, speaking of tools, it seems like a lot of bands would rather have a hit on YouTube and go viral than go into the top ten. What is social networking and Facebook mean to people's careers right now? Has it supplanted MTV? Uh, God, I hope so. <laughs> um, you know, I, th I think that it probably is going to do roughly what that, do that did for music in the 80s and that. I think it's going to do that for music now. Obviously, it's, it's showing its way. I mean, it's sh turning stars out of, you know, kids in their bedroom with a funny dance move. I mean, it's, it's just making... Is that I, good or bad? I think it's good. I think it's, I think it's you know, I, I think... It's free, and I think that people want to be entertained. And I think, um, you know, if you can entertain them in that little square on your computer, then they might go, well, you know what? He's playing a show down the street. Maybe we should go check them out. He might have something, you know, more interesting to do, you know. As for Stinson's upcoming show schedule, he's playing dates in support of One Man Mutiny before rejoining Axl Rose and the Gunners for a fall South American tour. And as for the one show that children by the million are waiting for? If you remember, uh, Lorne Michaels went on Saturday Night Live and he held up a check for $3,000 to get the, the Beatles back together. He says, yeah. if you come down, you can take this check. What would it take for a replacements reunion? What kind of a check would someone have to hold up? Uh, you know, they've been holding up pretty good ones already. And, uh, you know, we, we, we couldn't probably do it for the money. We'd have to do it for, to have fun first and foremost. And I think that's just a daunting thing. I think that one, I think Chris has gone in his direction with art, and he's done very well with it, and he's, had a, and he's having a great run. Um, and I think, you know, for Paul and I to just go and do it alone, we'd have to really sit down and, and just kind of go, well, let's, let's go play some songs for these people that really wants to play. It'll make them happy. Let's go try and have fun and see what it does. Just be real light about it. But what ends up happening every time we talk about it, I think that we just, it just becomes... A, a little too precious an issue and like, you know, I don't think we really want to, you know, tarnish it. <laughs>